Welcome back to Trout Snacks. I'm going to be tying a the base brassy. The reason I call it the base brassy is because it's short and chunky, just like my other flies, and it has that nice taper in it. Um, I'm tying it here on a size 14 standard uh, nymph hook, and this is a 532nd or 4 millimeter bead head, and I'll be tying it with this blue. 24 gauge wire and these wires you can get from the hobby department there in Walmart um, so these are the 24 gauge it comes in blue red this uh, bronze color black copper gold green purple so you can tie all kinds of different brassies but these are the ones that work really well for me and then I found this more of a wine color. Um, I found this at, oh, what's this called? That's another hobby store. I um, can't remember the name right now, but it's also a 24 gauge. And this purple one also works really well. But we'll dye the blue one first, and then we'll tie a purple one up, or a wine colored one. So, again, I just use this uh, 70 denier ultra thread, fluorescent pink. I'll start right behind the bead. Again, just short and chunky. And I don't know if the fish key on the silhouette or the colors, or maybe both, um, why this fly works. Again, I don't know why it works, but the fish just, they just like it. Then we'll build that nice taper in there. And again, the reason why I do it is when you tie in your collar, it just ties in much nicer, a nice thin collar. And uh, it just looks like it's supposed to be that way. You don't have a big gap between your materials and the back of your bead head. And you can use heavier wire or heavier thread if you want. You can also put in lead wire back there to put more weight if you would like. Got to spin it counterclockwise to kind of flatten my thread out. And I stopped about right where the barb used to be. And again, you just want it short and chunky. And so that's why we call it the, the base. Because it's a awesome chunkiness. Pull some of hairs out of there. I don't know how that got in there. And I'd cut that off. I wouldn't break that off because usually you'd break it right there and it just screws up your whip finish. Okay, get your blue wire. Leave about an inch tag on the end. Wrap it, get them to touch. Like so, and then hang on to that tag. Make touching wraps all, almost all the way up. Maybe about an eighth inch or so. Show your, see that little bit of pink on the end here? Let me go fix that. Just bring this around here. And wrap that nice and tight. You could leave that little pink hot spot on the end if you want. But I just cover it. <clears throat> now we'll hold on to this piece tight while we helicopter the back tag off. Again, it's 24 gauge wire. It takes a second. And I'll pinch it. And Get the front tag helicopter it off. Okay. Now, now you get to that nice taper all the way around. Again, I don't know if the fish 
notice that or key in on it? I have no clue. Now we'll get our hot pink again, our fluorescent pink. I'll tie that in. And this thorax, I use a shrimp pink, UV shrimp pink. You don't need much. And you just tie in a tight noodle. Only about, I don't know, an inch and a half, maybe, longer so. And you make nice tight touching wraps. If you want to tighten it up, you can. Nice tight touching wraps. Got a nice collar on there. Not too big of a collar, just nice thin. And then see how that my hotspot ties in? Nice and thin. It's not wide because there's a lot of gap in there you're trying to fill back up just to see and build it up just to see your collar. That taper, it just puts it all right there. A couple of wraps and you got a nice hotspot. And then I'll get my UV clear. Again, that way you just tie it in and you keep that nice thin hot spot in there. And it's already got the <clears throat> glue or whatever you want to put on there. Uh, you want to use head. Hanson's hard as nails. I just like to use a UV because it burns in real quick. The hot spot just shines. And then there you go. There's a nice oop. Well, let me see it again. Easy peasy. Uh, short, chunky, full of awesomeness. Works really, really good. Okay, now my next one, um, I wasn't going to tie two, but I guess I'm going to. And I'll show you this purple one and how I tie it. <clears throat> I use a different... I use a peacock dubbing for the thorax and um, kind of a gray... UV dubbing. So if you bear with me for a second, I'll grab me another size 12 hook. I'll bend that barb. And then I'll get my 532nd or 4 millimeter bead head. Put our bead head on there. Oop. You gotta open that gap just a little bit. That's not quite fitting. So let's open the gap just a little. Not much. Just a smidge. Slide your bead on there. Easy peasy. Okay, put that in our vise. Okay, now I'll use the pink again. And this is my wine color, sorry, not purple, wine colored to base brassy. I just like that name. I don't know. <laughs> Cut that tag off. And then again, go back to about where 
the barb would have used to be, maybe just a little in front of it. Again, you just want it short and chunky. Just keep building that taper in there. I find it easier to keep your tying thread short. And the reason I can keep going around like this without uh, is because I have my bobbin <clears throat> adjusted just right to where it just keeps enough tension, but it will pull the spool by itself. You get it too tight, you have to keep using your fingers to unroll the spool or break your thread. But if you adjust it, uncord it just a bit because it's a little. Kind of flatten my thread a bit. Okay, so that's good there. I'll whip finish that one, two, three times. Tighten it up. Again, cut it out. Don't pull it because it can really mess up your whip finish. And then I'll get the wine color. And, oh, Joanne's. Joanne's is where I found this. And, uh, it's that wine color, 24 gauge, and they give you a lot of it. This will last me, oh my, she's the rest of my life probably. Okay, we'll unhook it here. Get about a eight inch piece. Use your trash scissors to cut this stuff because you, you don't want to use your good scissors. Okay, now here's our wine color, about an 8-inch piece, makes no, four, four or five flats on an 8-inch piece. Again, about an inch behind, or an inch long tag on the back. Hold it tight, start making, wrapping, touching, touches, touch wrap, what do we want to call it? Okay, about eighth inch gap there. Okay, we'll hold this piece, the front piece tight, while we helicopter the back tag off. Pinch it, helicopter the front tag. Just take your time, it'll come, it'll eventually break. 26 gauge is a little harder, takes a little longer, but 26 gauge also works really well, or actually a 22 gauge, a little heavier than the 24. And the 22 gauge works really good on like a size 12 or heavier nymph hook. All right. Now, I would put on my fluorescent pink again. And this one gets a little trickier. I put two dubbings on. <clears throat> Again, I use that corner and just a wee bit, not much. And this is kind of like, I don't know, maybe a gill, whatever. You want to call it right there, just a, maybe a gray dubbing, UV dubbing, for like a little bubble or, like I said, like a gill or whatever on a mayfly. Now I take my, take my peacock dubbing. I haven't cut the corner on that yet, so all I do just take and cut the corner. Kind of shake it down there in that corner and uh, mm. all right that was a very bad demonstration it's not wanting to come out so what you can do just get your pick 
inside there. Pull it down to the corner there. There we go. And then when you pull on it, it kind of pulls it all in one direction. Like so. Makes it much easier to dub when they're all pointing the same direction. Now this is kind of long, so I'll take and break it. Nice tight dubbing noodle. And again, less is more. I'm going to make this peacock about twice the length as the, the gray UV. Nice tight. Okay, you can take this out over the wire if you want a little bit. Get that nice first wrap in there. You can take this over the top of that because you really just want the back showing for the gray. So you get a nice different look to the fly. But again, it could represent gills, it could represent like a little bubble back there. And again, since we put that taper in there, we can start building our start building our hot spot. Nice easy, nice thin hot spot. Doesn't have to be huge, wide. Again, I don't think the fish really care, but uh, I just like the looks of it. You know, I get my loons thin UV and we'll put like an inch or so on there nice clean tight collar snug it up and I would cut that out I wouldn't break it burn that UV in And again, it just gives it a different look. The base brassy, this is my wine colored one. Um, and uh, the red, I'll tie that Storax the same way with the red and with the bronze. Um, I guess you can do it with the, with the blue. I haven't tried it with the blue. The blue, I've always used the pink shrimp. I don't know why, but these are also very good effective flies. And... Uh, Again, it's just short, chunky, full of awesomeness, the base brassy. Thanks for watching.